In this lesson, let's start to bring in some of the shapes that we've created and set up our blend shapes in Maya. So here we're back in Maya, and this version of the guy just has the level 2 head with the teeth and mouth all separate and the eyes as well. So let's start to bring in some shapes to be able to uh, morph and blend between. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in just a couple of shapes to start with. And I want to make sure that I've got OBJ and then this Create Multiple Objects clicked off. And we go to or Import, and let's go ahead and bring in the six shape. And just so it's a little bit clearer, I'm going to go ahead and pull that off there. Uh, we'll bring in the Kiss shape as well. Again, pull that off to the side. And we can go ahead and bring in maybe another shape. Maybe just the smile shape. And I'll go ahead and drop that down below. All right, so now we've got multiple shapes in here. And I've just dragged them off so we can see them a little bit better. Now to blend these together, they're both at the same level. Uh, let's look at using a blend shape. So we're in animation. We'll select first. Uh, we've got the targets that we want to actually uh, this to actually transfer to or we want it to uh, start to look like so we'll select that and then we'll finally select the base at the end so the base is the last object that you want to select go up to create deformers and go into blend shape options and let's go ahead and change this to world and see what happens the origin here we've got a few of these settings let's go ahead and create and now to access this, we can go to our Blend Shape node, or we can go up here to Window, Animation Editor, Blend Shape. You can see we've got a Blend Shape 1 node, and we've got some buttons over here on the side. We've got a place to key this. We want to animate it. We've also got a place to key all of them. If we've got more than one slider. Now in this case, if we change our slider, we expect that this shape will begin to look like this shape. So if we drag that slider up you can see that that is indeed happening but it's also being dragged over to the actual position of this so it's taking into account the translation uh, any kind of transform values that are on this which is not necessarily what we want in some cases it may be but in our case it isn't so we'll go ahead and delete that and this time we'll go ahead and change that world to a local origin and create go to blend shape and this time when we drag this up you can see that only the shape is changing okay so let's say that we want to add all of these shapes so we'll select them all and select the last the base last go to create blend shape and let's go ahead and click this in between on and see what happens so we'll go ahead and create that you can see that even though I've got three shapes I've only got one slider and what happened is it's using these as in between. So zero is still the base shape, but as we move up, you can see first it goes to the six shape, then it goes to the smile shape, and finally to the kiss shape. So all these shapes are contained within one slider. All right. What this might be useful for is if you have something like an eyelid that uh, needs to move in an arc, uh, the blend shape is going to want to move that in sort of a linear way so in something like that you may be able to come in and where the computers in between might not work you can add your own custom in between uh, that tells that shape exactly what to look like so that can be useful in that instance okay now if we delete that and do it in a different way this will be a little bit more useful for us if we click this in between off so go ahead and create that and what that's going to do is create three sliders. So now each of these shapes has their own slider and their own ability to keyframe uh, the different shapes. Okay, so you can see now each of these has their own slider. All right, so beyond actually just blending between the pieces of geometry, we can also blend between the groups. And now I find that it's a little bit more uh, I like to manipulate if I have things like teeth, uh, tongue, things like that. I like to manipulate those within Maya and move, just move those points around. But we uh, did a few options where we have teeth. So uh, let's look at how we can sort of do that with groups. So let's go ahead and bring in, let's bring in the L 
phoneme L, head shape, as well as the teeth L shape. Okay, and I'm going to use this second version of the old man that I have with the mouth combined and just the teeth output from ZBrush. So I'm going to uh, duplicate this group. So Control D to duplicate. And then I want to replace the head and the mouth in the new group that I've created with the head and the mouth that I just brought in. So here's the L head. So go ahead and drop that in. Delete the head. Here's the mouth, the teeth. Go ahead and drop that in and delete that. And now I can take this whole group and move it off. Okay, So I'm not just dealing with this head piece of geometry now. I'm actually dealing with a group that includes the head, the teeth, the tongue. You can see how that's, that's changed. Okay, So now what I can do is take this new group, and just as I would with the piece of geometry, I can now shift or control select the base and go ahead and create a deformer blend shape and now when you go to animation editor blend shape you can see that this is my old node I'll delete that so now you can see that when I modify that more than just the head is moving the actual teeth are involved in that as well okay and that's something that we did in ZBrush personally I prefer to do it that part in Maya uh, which we'll look at doing in the next lesson but you can do it uh, that way as well just to match up the particular uh, groups that we have here. So we've got this group, and it contains the same geometry, uh, you know, point-wise. The points are just moved around as the the uh, source or the uh, the base here that we have. Okay. All right. So you can bring in all as many of those uh, shapes that we have as you want. You can line them up so you've got them uh, all lined up in a row, and stick those on just by selecting and just make sure that you have the base selected last and that'll bring up sliders for your different blend shapes okay in the next lesson we'll look at how we can actually uh, move the teeth around if we want to do that within Maya and the tongue as well so let's go ahead and uh, and continue on by taking a look at that in the next lesson